Today, my subject is going to be a strong finish. A strong finish. And today is a bittersweet Sunday. It is the last installment of my sermon series entitled, By Faith. I have truly, I must say, put my all into this sermon series. My heart, my soul, study time. I have read so many books about faith in this Hall of Faith chapter that it will probably blow your mind. I was with a group of friends yesterday and <laughs> they was talking about long-winded preachers. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, what, what preacher said, anything after hour, you lie. <laughs> And I looked, I said, what about 59 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> and, and we bust and start laughing. <laughs> and the reason, uh, I, you may say that I'm a long-winded preacher, I study so much, you yes, know, and I'm saying this in a humble way, and I have so much to give you that time just passed by Amen. when I'm proclaiming the word of God. So as a result, I, I pray that I have fed you manna from heaven. Yeah. Amen. Now, please don't allow what I have been preaching for the last 11 weeks to be in vain. Right. Yes. That you are only the hearers of the word, but not doers. I have preached sermons and such as here is my worship. Uh, a multiple choice test, yes. a, a marathon wall. Yes. Uh, 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 what did I preach last Sunday? Come on. Grace to all. Okay. Grace yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I, I, there wasn't no trying to test you. I really forgot. <laughs> uh, grace to overcome the past. And, and I preached about Rahab. I know who I preached about, but I preached about, about Rahab. And all of these sermons are on YouTube. So, so I pray that these words that I have preached, uh, and, and taught you just haven't been good words for one day. Amen. But you have truly uh, become doers of the word of God. Yes. I tell people that the word of God will work if you work it. Amen. If you work the word of God, it will work for you. And we've been talking about by faith. Now, why is faith so important? In Hebrews chapter number 11, verse number 6, says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. If you are a believer in Jesus the Christ, mm -hmm. believer of God through Jesus the Christ, you must have faith in God. Yes. I like the second half of that scripture. For he that come that cometh to him must believe that he is, uh -huh. and he is a warrior, rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Yes. So faith is important because if you want to please God, you got to have faith. Got to have faith. Hebrews 10, 38, and I talked about this briefly one Sunday. Uh, now the just shall live yes, by faith. Amen. So the Bible tells us that we should live the just, those who are, are in right standing with God, the yeah. righteousness of God. We shall live yeah. by faith. Faith. Amen. Yes. And anyone or any man draw back, if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure mm. in him. Mm. I talked about okay. that, I believe, in part yeah. one, that, that I said that, that if you give up on this Christian journey, Come on. those people who feel like giving up and throwing in the towel, yes. God said, if you give up, uh -huh. I have no pleasure no in pleasure. you. Amen. God gets no glory if you give up. <laughs> I want you to keep that in mind. That's a word, now, what is faith? Author of Hebrews give us a description of faith. In Hebrews chapter number 11, verse number 1, Now faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. We just reviewing 
Because I'm going to be finished within 30 minutes this Sunday. <laughs> so, so that is a description of faith. And I gave you several definitions of faith. Definition number one that I gave you is faith is an inner conviction and a persuasion that what God says to us is true. Yes. Next, I gave you a second definition by Dr. Tony Evans. Faith is acting like God is telling the truth. Yes. A third definition that I gave you is faith is acting on something based on your belief that the one who told you to do it is telling the truth. Hallelujah. And that is God. We yeah. know that he's telling the truth yes. and we must act upon what he told us to do. Yes. One definition, that, another definition I gave you, the fourth definition that I gave you is faith is acting like it is so. Even when it's not so. So that it might be so. Simply because God said yes. so. Yes. Yes. So that's faith. Amen. Hebrews 11, uh, 1, again, our faith is the substance of things hoped for, yes. the evidence of things not, not. seen. Come on. Not seen. Yes. So faith has nothing to do with your physical sight. Yes. Right. Right. If you can see it, you can see. it's not faith. It's not faith. Yeah. You can't see God with your physical eye. That's why we must have faith in God, the invisible God. We must have faith in him. So if you can see anything, it does not require faith. That's why 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verse number 7 says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Some of you want to see it before you do it. It doesn't work like that. You've got to walk by faith, then you'll see it. Yes. You want to see it, then believe yes, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you believe God, and, and, and as I will find what you believe, then eventually you will see it. Amen. Now, we, for we walk, 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 walk by faith. For we walk, walk, walk by faith. So faith shows up in your feet. Yes, when you walk, you use your feet. You, you got to walk out this faith. So faith shows up in your feet and not your feelings. That's word. I'm just recapping. You can feel, this is not a word, but I'm going to make it up. You can feel faithish, but have no faith. Then you can feel like you have no faith, but be full of faith. Now, Pastor, what do you mean by, yeah. by that? You can be full of faith. You can be faithish, if you will, but have no faith. I can be sitting down in this chair and saying, I believe God's going to do it. Uh -huh. I, believe, I believe God's going to do it. He don't give me that career. Uh -huh. Yes, he is. <laughs> he don't do it for me. You just sit down. You just don't apply down. for the job. Uh -huh. You don't move. You don't go to the company to find out when they are hiring. You just sit there and just say, I believe God. He's going to do it. He's going to be on my body. But you don't want to go to the doctor. You, so that, that's no faith. You, you, you're talking a good game, but it's not showing up in your feet. But then, vice versa, you can say, I don't believe God. So do it for me. I really don't believe God. So do it for me. I really don't believe he's going to open this door. But I'm going to get up. Uh -huh. And I'm going to move by faith. Yeah. All right. God, I don't know how you're going to make this. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know how you're going to make a way. No, no. I don't know how you're going to come through. Uh -huh. But I'm moving. Yeah. I'm doing something. Yeah. Are y'all with me so far? Yeah. So faith shows up in your feet and not your feelings. Don't let your feelings mislead you. Amen. Because it will. Yes, so we've been talking about faith. The just shall live by. Somebody by. shout by. By, by faith. Now, we have walked through this faith chapter. We have explored people who live by faith. Mm -hmm. Abel, Enoch, Noah, Adam, Sarah, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, the Israelites, and Rahab. Mm -hmm. Now, we have come to the conclusion of this faith chapter. I have walked you through the entire chapter mm -hmm. of the book of Hebrews, chapter number 11, for the last 11 weeks. I bet some of you didn't even know it was that much in it. So we have come to the end of this chapter. This is a, a, a landmark for me because I have never done this in my pastorship or in my ministry. Preaching an entire chapter like this. Amen. So we are down to the last couple of verses of Hebrews chapter number 11. 
Hebrews chapter number 11, verse number 32. You can remain seated. It says, look what the author of Hebrews says. He says, and what more shall I say? I have talked about, he said, I have talked about Abel, mm -hmm. Enoch. Yes. We have even talked about Rahab. Yes. We have walked through 31 verses, if you will, mm -hmm. talking about faith. And the author of Hebrews says, what more shall I say? <laughs> I have preached to you 11 okay. weeks yes. from 11 different people. Yes. What, more what more shall I say? Come on. Come on. What, what is going to take for you to know about faith? What, what more shall you, you know about faith? How many more examples I should give you? What more shall I say before you start living All right. by faith? Ooh, watch out now, watch out. I'm going to say it again. The, <laughs> the other Hebrew said, I done went through 31 verses. Yes. Talked yes. about almost 11, 10 or 11 people. Right. What, more what more shall I say? Yes. And I like this, he said, and I don't have the time. Uh -huh. I think he knew that I would was going to preach this sermon uh -oh. on this day. Because uh -oh. I don't have time. <laughs> I, got another, I got a third service today. I don't have the time Amen. to preach these people to you. Right. He said, if I had the time. If I had the time. Right. My, my Baptist preacher would say, if I had a little more time. Watch out, watch out. Elder John, tell me, tell me who you'll tell me about. Uh, I do not have time to tell you about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Jephthah. About David and Samuel. And the prophets. Look at that. He said, I don't have the time Lord, have to talk about these people the who God. live by faith. Yes. And the list goes on. Oh, yes. Yes. But I wish I had the time. Yes, sir. But I don't have don't the time. Have the time. <laughs> I, I will tell you about how, how they lived by faith. by faith. But I will tell you this. All of those men that he listed, they had some flaws. That's right. Come on, man. You better say it. They had some weak points in yes. their life. Yes. But they lived, lived. by faith. Yes. Yes. Faith is not for perfect people. That's you know, I love people when they say, I got to get myself together before uh -huh. I go to church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. These people that have themselves together. All right now. Especially not David. <laughs> oh my God. But they live by faith. Yes. 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 Now, if you live by faith, let me show you what your faith can do. Mm. Here we go. I'm going to show you the power of faith. My Lord. And we're going to, you're going to understand this when Elder Jones read it. I want you to see what, look, go to verse number 33. I want you to see if you truly have faith in God, what your faith can do. Yeah. If you act like God is telling the truth, I want you to see what your faith can do. If you act like it is so, even when it's not so, so that it can be so, simply because God said so, I want you to see the power yes, of your faith. Yes, sir. Know what your faith can do, Elder Jones. Who, through faith, conquered kingdoms. Through yes. faith. Yes, through, yes, through, through faith. Through what? Faith. Y'all better come on up in here. Yes, sir. This is what your faith can do. Read, Elder. Yes, sir. Through faith, conquered kingdoms. Administered justice and gained what was promised. Mm. Who shut the mouths of lions, mm. quenched the fire, the fury of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle and routed foreign enemies. Mm. Amen. Amen. Oh Women received back that day, woo mm. raised to life again. Stop right there. Go back to verse number 33. My because y'all still not happy. My God, my God. I'm trying to show you if you live by faith, by faith. what your faith can do. Come on, come on. It can conquer kingdoms. Yes, sir. Read, Elder. Yes, sir. Oh, you can't see. Uh -huh. Read. Who, through faith, conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised. Yeah. Who shut the mouth of lying? Stop right there. I really want to deal with this one. Maybe if I explain this one, you'll get happy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This talk about Daniel, Daniel. who lived by faith. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Because he lived by faith, he was thrown in the lion's den. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because he prayed three times a day. Yes, sir. But he didn't care. The king told him, if, if, if he made a, a decree, if anybody prays to God, yes. they will be thrown into the lion's den. Yes, sir. But Daniel lived by faith. He, he acted like it was so, even though it wasn't so, yes. so that it could be so. Simply yes. because God said so, he didn't care what he was going to think. He lived by faith. Yes. He got in that lion's den. And guess what? By faith, God shut the lion's mouth. When you live by faith, God will defeat your enemies if you stand still. Yes, yes, Some of you want to see God move, but you don't want to live by faith. It's according to your faith. I said it's according to your faith. God cannot do it if you don't have faith. Let's read. Yes, sir. Quench the fury of the flames mm. and escape the edge of the sword mm. whose weakness was turned into strength. Let me quench the fire of flames. Yes, escape sir. the edge of the sword. So when the enemy comes at you, come on. Yes. Come and on. if you live by faith, what yes. you say? When the enemy tries when anything, try. yes, before sir. it attacks you, God was standing between yes. you and the enemy yes, and block it. That's by faith. Let's talk about Samson in a way. Guess what? Even if you have a weakness, even yes. in your weak moment, yes. when thou are when you are weak, thou are strong. God yes. said, yes. even in your weakest moment, yes. if you live yes. by faith, yes. when you feel like you don't feel like getting out the bed, when you feel like it's all over, God said, if I see yes. enough faith of a size of a mustard seed, if you put one foot in front of the other, I'll turn your weakness into strength. Let's read one more time, Elder. <laughs> Quench the fear of the flame mm -hmm. and escape the edge of the sword, mm -hmm. whose weakness was turned to strength mm -hmm. and who became powerful in battle and routed foreign arms. Uh huh. Next. <laughs> Women received back that day. Woo! Raised to life again. It's somebody Elijah. My God. You remember the, the woman's son died? Yes. After yes. Elijah had made a promise that you're going to have a son, uh -huh. and then her son died, the promise died, yes. and her son died, and it was all over. But yes, when sir. the prophet got to the room, yes. the boy that was dead yes. by faith yes. came alive yes. again. Yes. I don't care what's dead in your life. I don't care what you think is over in your life. If you live by faith, if you act like God is telling the truth, God can even raise that dead thing. Back to life. Yeah. This is what your faith can do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, here we go. Part B. Let's read this, Elder. I'm almost done. My God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there were others who were tortured, refusing to be released so that they might gain an even better resurrection. All right. I really want you to pay attention to this. There were others who were tortured. Yes, sir. Yes. Refusing to be released. Released. Mm -hmm. I want you to get this. Yes, sir. Now, the people who I was just talking about, they saw the power of faith because yes. they believed in God and God yes. came through. Yes. Now, there were some people who believed God. My God. But guess what? Let me word it this way. God still did not come through mm. for them on this side. On this side. Yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. They did not, these people, they did not compromise what they believed. My God. It was some people that said, let's think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh -huh. I'm going to flip the story. I'm going to... Bring this out from another perspective. You remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, yeah. they refused to bow down to the golden image. Y'all yeah. remember that? Yeah. And because they refused to bow down to the golden image, uh -huh. they were thrown into the fire furnace. That's right. Yeah. That's right. They did that by faith. Yeah. The three Hebrew boys lived by faith. Yeah. <laughs> but they were thrown into the fire furnace. All right. And they said, if our God don't deliver, Come on, we don't. know that he is, he is able. Well, yes. Yes. But yes. God came through. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. there were some people that went through similar situations My God. that God never came through. Mm -hmm. yes. they, they, what if Shadrach and Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego would have refused to bow down to the golden image like they did, were thrown into the fire furnace, but they said, if God don't, listen to their statement, yeah. if God yeah. don't deliver, Come on. we know that he's able. He's able. He's able. 
The king said, listen, I'm giving you an opportunity to deny mm. God. Worship my golden image and you can be released from this torture. Yes. They said, no. Mm. We're going to stand on what we believe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And if God don't come through, don't come through. and we are not released, yes, sir. we know We're that he's able. Yes, sir. We're not going to compromise what we believe. Come on. Come on. Now, here's the thing. If God does not come through for you on this side, on this side will you right. still compromise you what you believe? You better say that. You better say it. <laughs> when you go out with friends and other friends doing things and, and you know it's not right, will you compromise and say, well, I do it this, this one time? Uh -huh. If you have to sleep with people that go up to the uh, up the ladder, ladder of the company, will you do that? No, you should not do that. You should not compromise what you believe. Yeah. I don't care if your boss asks you to do something wrong yeah. and you know it's wrong based yeah. on the word of God. God said if you stand, can you still stand? Yeah. Can you say, I'm still not going to do this because this is not according to what I believe? So there were some people who went through that. Yes. They were tortured. They were yes. killed. Let's read a little bit more, Elder Jones. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Pray. Some faced jeers Love. and flogging mm -hmm. and even chains and imprisonment. Mm -hmm. Get on. They were put to death by stoning. They were sawed in two. Mm -hmm. They were killed by the sword. They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute persecuted and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. Look at it. Y'all see all those things they went through? Yes, sir. Yes. Because they were not willing to accept the release. Yes. If they had to accept the release, they were going to deny their faith. Yes, yes. yes. But they yes. were still willing to go through it. Yes. Why they were willing to go through Let's go back. Let's go back to verse number 35. It says, so that they may gain an even better, better. even better yes, sir. Yes, resurrection. Sir. Yes, sir. Wow. That's it's true. something better. Yeah, two sides to the story. <laughs> if you kill me on this side, this side. based on what I believe, yes. they said we know it is something better, better than this. <laughs> I go through hell down yes, here because say. of what I believe, yes. because I know it's something better. Yes. 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 Now, yes. before we yes. talk about heaven, let me talk about a little, little yes. stuff on earth. Yes. So, the reason some people don't live by faith because they don't actually believe it's anything better. Mm. If I know it's something better, teach us, I'm going to do better. Teach us, yeah. teach us. I'm going to live better. Yes, sir. I'm going to act by faith. Yes. You know, some people talk about relationship, abusive relationship. You know, sometimes it's hard for other people, I mean, abuse, abuse people uh, who experience domestic violence, yes. to get out of a relationship because they don't believe it's something. Yes. Yes. They don't believe yes. it's something better. That's right. That's right. It's not that easy to get out of those type of yes. relationships. Because their mindset is, I don't believe nobody want me, nobody is no one that I'm there that they're gonna take better care of me. So I sit here and get beat on, cheated on, lied on, and all I go through all this because I don't believe it's something better. But once you believe it is something better and begin to act by faith, live by faith, live by faith and not by sight, God will come through. It's something better. I always tell myself. Talking about heaven, I'm gonna get to heaven. Talking about heaven for a minute, but I always tell myself it's something better. It's something It's something, and I live my life, Chelsea, according to that. That I believe is yeah. something better. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Now here we go. My God, my God. Thank so you. they believe that it was something better. Uh huh. I told you the earthly perspective. Let me tell you the heavenly perspective. If God don't come through, if He don't come. On this side. On this side. Yeah. That's right. Based on what you believe. Yes, sir. You better believe. Come on. It is something yes. better. Better. Amen. It's a better place yes, sir. than this. Yes. Than this. Yes. 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 I don't know when the Lord is going to call us home, but you have to get in that mindset. Yes, sir. It is a better place yes. than yes. this. Yes, sir. Let's go to verse number 39 through 40 before I wrap this up. My Lord. My Lord. Elder Jones. These were all commended for their faith. 
Yet none of them received what had been promised. Since God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Go back to verse number 39. I'm going to explain this by faith. Through these who were commended for their faith, uh -huh. yet none of them received what had been promised. Promise. I really need to dig into that. Amen. And then I'm going to close. When we look at people that I have preached about, like Abel, Noah, Rahab, Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph. They didn't realize that they were, they did realize that they were a part of the promise of God. Mm -hmm. But they were a part of God's salvation plan. Mm -hmm. Everything that God did through Adam, through Abel, I should say, through Noah, through Adam, through Sarah, through all those people that I have been preaching about for the last 11 weeks, were leading up to Jesus. All right, come on, come on. <laughs> they never, they did not live during Jesus' time. They didn't receive right. Jesus. That's right, that's right. Because Jesus wasn't physically on earth. Yes. But everything they were doing was leading up leading to up. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Let me let me help you just a little bit, Here's so a so you can a, shout it, man. Here's the part. And, and I'm gonna be done. Y'all remember when I preached about, I'm looking at my list, Abel. Y'all remember him? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you remember because he made a more better sacrifice yeah. uh -huh. that he killed an animal? Uh -huh. Huh? Mm -hmm. and, and because of he gave a sin offering, because the blood that was shed from the animal, yes. the blood that was shed from the animal, more particularly the blood that was shed from the lamb, the lamb was a remission of mm. Abel sin. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, the blood that was shed for the lamb yes. was a remission mm. of Abel's sin. Yeah. The, blood the blood that was shed yes. from the lamb gave remission mm. of Abel's <laughs> sin. Yeah. The blood that came from the Lamb yes. was a remission, was a sin offering yes. for Abel's sin. Yes. He lived during the Old Testament yes, days, yes, but he, he wasn't able to receive the My Lamb Lord. of God. Lord. Lord. Yes. Who, who is Jesus? Yes. The Lamb of God who came God. to take yes, away the God. sins the sin. of the world yes, for without the shedding of his blood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There be no remission, no remission. of yes, our sins. Yes, Abel, can you live and be a part of a promise that you won't live long enough to see? Yes. Let me reword that. Are you willing to be part of a promise yes. that you will not live to see? My Lord, my Lord, speak. Yes. There's some things that God promised us that we will physically live to see. But can you still be a part of the promise? Are you willing to live by faith to be a part of the promise? If God said, I will do this for your great grandchildren, will you still do it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. Enoch yes, walked yes, with God. Yes, sir. And he got caught up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He got caught up. Yes, he did. He got caught up, and yes, we can't did. find his body. Ooh, Where is his body? Where is Enoch's body? My God, my God. I looked all over, uh -huh. and I can't find his body. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Enoch, thank you for walking by faith. Come on. Because you was a part of a bigger promise that you didn't yes, sir. live to see. We're looking for your body. Looking for who now? <laughs> We're still looking for Jesus' body. Yes, sir. We can't find his body. Find. Because just like Enoch uh -huh. went ascended to heaven yes, early the third day morning. Early. Yeah. I'm preaching better than y'all know. Yeah. Early the third day morning. The reason we can't find his body is because Jesus died. He got up. He got up. Yes, he did. He got up. <laughs> he 
Noah built an ark. Noah built an ark. Him and his son, they built an ark. By faith, built an ark. So when the storm came, when it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, they went into the ark of safety. 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 When destruction came, they went into the ark of safety. And it kept them from being destroyed. It won't be water but fire next time. But if you get into the ark of safety, which is Jesus. If you get from in the ark of safety, which is Jesus. Dear those who believe in Jesus shall not be condemned. Abraham, the father of the faith. Yes. Yes. Abraham, I'm putting Abraham and Sarah together uh -huh. because both of them were barren. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, Sarah was barren, Abraham was old. He was old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and the only reason Abraham's seed uh -huh. could fertilize Sarah, A. Ed, uh -huh. is because Jesus was that seed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus was the seed of yes, Abraham. Yes, 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 you better catch this. Yes, I'm going to say it again. Uh -huh. The only reason uh -huh. Abraham's seed My was God. able to fertilize Sarah's head yes. because Jesus, Jesus was the seed. Yes, and when Jesus, yes, who got up the third day morning, did any damn thing, the damn thing got to come back to life. Abraham did not live to see Jesus, but he was a part of the promise. He was able to receive what was promised, but he was willing to be part of the promise. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isaac. Thank you, Lord. Y'all remember Isaac? Yes, sir. Abraham took his son Isaac up on Mount Moriah. Yes, sir. Come on now. And at first he was about to be sacrificed. Uh-huh. As a uh, as, um, kill, as a sacrifice. Yes, and, 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 and when you really do some studying of that, Isaac was laying down and Abraham was getting ready to sacrifice my Isaac. Lord, my Lord. And Isaac was Abraham's only begotten son. Mm, yes. Yes. Mm, yes. Speak, 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 speak. Abraham, I mean, Isaac was Abraham's only oh, begotten yes. son. Yes. But Abraham was willing to sacrifice his son yeah. because he believed, he believed that Abraham, I mean Isaac, was, could be raised up from the dead. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, isn't that Jesus? God's only begotten son who took away the sins of the world and he was killed. But look, Early the third day morning. I'm preaching very long ago. Oh my God. Jacob. Oh, Jacob wrestled with the angel uh -huh. all night long. Oh, my God. You want to know who that angel was? Come on. That was Jesus. That was Jesus. Yes, sir. Joseph. You remember Joseph? Yes. He got thrown into the pit. Yes. My Lord. Yes, sir. <laughs> The pit was supposed to have water in it, so he was supposed to drown. Uh -huh. He got thrown in the pit. Yes, but somehow, some way, somebody found him and reached way down from that pit and, yes, and got yes, him God. out of that pit. Oh my God, oh my God. Jesus, Jesus was put into a pit. But early, the third day morning, he wasn't able to receive what was promised. Because it's Jesus. Yes. Moses. Y'all remember Moses? Yes, sir. <laughs> Moses. When you do some study on Moses, Moses took a, a snake and put it on a stick and lifted up the snake. Uh -huh. And all of the Israelites who were bent by that snake, uh -huh. uh, they had to look up to look the snake. Up. Yeah. Yeah. And if they look up, Moses had to lift it up. Lift it up. And if they look up at the snake, uh -huh. they will be healed yeah. of their snake body. Yeah. But Moses had to be lifted up. Moses had to lift it up. Moses had to lift up that bronze snake. He had to lift it up. And Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men. Hallelujah. The Israelites. 
Yes, Y'all remember the Israelites? Yes, sir. They were in bondage. Uh -huh. But Moses came and delivered them out of bondage. Yes, sir. And Jesus is the New Testament Moses. Yes, sir. We was in bondage of yes, sin. Yes, sir. But thank God for sending Jesus yes. who delivered us yes. out of bondage. You better, say, you better say that. And we know about that prostitute, Greg. Uh -huh. yes. Who had a nasty background. Uh -huh. yes. But thank God for Rahab. Yes. The nasty prostitute. Yes, sir. She became a part of the lineage the because lineage. she lived by faith. By faith. Yes. Yes. She by became faith. a part of the lineage yes. of Jesus. Of Jesus. Yes. yes, sir. <laughs> Verse number 40. My God, my God. Since God had planned something better for us. Uh -huh. So that only together yes. with us with would us. be, uh, they would be made perfect. Perfect, yes. One day. One day. We don't be caught up with Amen. Abraham, Amen. Sarah, Amen. Enoch, Abel, Amen. and all yes, of these people. And we may be imperfect people in an imperfect place yeah. right now. Right now. But one day. One day. One day. Yeah. One day. If, if you live by faith. By faith. Elder yeah. Jones, yes, Minister Pachel, yes. I'm going to that perfect city. Yes, and yes, I'm going to be made perfect with yes. him. Yes. Sitting yes. in heavenly yes. places. Yes, sir. You only would do that if you finish strong. Yes, sir. You got to have a strong finish. Yes. It doesn't matter how you start. Yes. It matters about how you finish. You got to live by faith. You got to act like it is so. Come on. Even when it's not so. It's not so. so that it may be so. so Simply because God said so. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, this concludes by faith. Thank you.